I put this picture of a really happy dog in the background so that hopefully this week my videos could appeal to a different demographic. That demographic, of course, being members of the canine species. Uh, hey guys, uh, today I just wanted to make this video, uh, talk about, uh, to talk about how to be less awkward on camera using some clever editing and a pencil. If you're having trouble or stuttering in front of the camera, the culprit is often a lack of preparation. Simply writing down what you're going to say before you record will change your videos dramatically. As soon as I get an idea for a video, I make a bulleted list of everything that I'll cover in that video. Then I adapt those bullet points into a script, and now I'm sitting here, shamelessly reading off of it. After you're done shooting, the best thing that you can do is edit. A lot. If you mess up something while if you mess up something while shooting, just say it again. You can even go one line at a time. If you don't know what I mean, just watch Hank Green's What's Between the Cuts video. A lot of people like to edit using jump cuts, where you splice together all of the best lines to make the final video. I made a video about jump cuts a while back, which you can watch by clicking on or near the dog. Some simple background music will also go a long way. But when you're adding in background music, you need to make sure you choose the right song. If you add in a song that doesn't fit the mood of the video, you're really just gonna make the problem worse as opposed to better. Finally, you should remember that like anything else, you will get better at this over time. The only way to get better is by practicing and now is a good time to practice because the video is over.